It's been three years since a group of Brazilian artists has taken over a state-owned abandoned building to form it into an artistic hub. They produce all sorts of arts, including theater productions and exhibitions. But the question is, will they last? This building has brought plenty of color to downtown Sao Paulo. It's owned by the state, but over the past three years, it's become a home and workshop for artists. On the 1st of May, during the morning, we came from the city centre to Obidor Street in a procession, all of us wearing costumes. When we arrived, a friend who was our drummer asked to come inside and have a coffee with the gentleman who was looking after the building. He refused, so we had to enter in our own way. Soon after, the occupation was fully organised. Now each floor of the art house is dedicated to a different art form. We are in a building with 13 stories and more than a hundred artists, where I can have space. I produce, I work. I have a lot of material. I live here and I pay zero rent. We have a communal kitchen. It's a great place for an artist. You have support that the state doesn't often give you. And this part of the building is the no boys zone. When I arrived here in November, there wasn't a determined space only for women. I launched this idea. I managed to host two girls who are in the feminist movement. And now we have an entire floor dedicated only to women. On the sixth floor, we visit circus artist Giuseppe Gordillo, who's rehearsing for his bi-weekly show. But he's one of the lucky ones, as not all artists can survive the vote of the assembly that's held every week by the building's residents. Many people have passed through here, but in Latin America, most people who travel with their art are Latinos. So most are Argentines, Chileans, Peruvians. The artists face the constant threat of eviction, as the state has already twice put the property up for auction. But until that day comes, their show will go on.